know South America's most secret animal. You'll never guess what it is. I'm sure I can. Give me a clue. All right. The secret animal has a very unusual looking face. Maybe the secret animal is a bird, like the flamingo. They have unusual looking faces. Flamingos are thought to have been on the earth for millions of years. Flamingos feed in the water. They place their bills in the river and suck in water and mud, which they then filter out. Flamingo mothers feed their babies with a special kind of milky substance, which they make in their digestive systems. Flamingos were hunted in the past. They were eaten by people in the Andes who believed that their fat could cure tuberculosis. Flamingo feathers haven't been highly sought after by hunters because they lose their colour in sunlight. Flamingos are also found in other parts of the world. The secret animal is only found in South America. The toucan is only found in South America. The toco toucan is the largest of all the toucans. Although its brightly coloured bill looks heavy, it's really quite light. It's made up of air-filled cells, like a honeycomb. The toucan's bill is also very fragile. Toucans use their bills to grab fruit, which they toss into the air and catch with their open beaks. Toco toucans are quite agile in the trees, but they are not very graceful flyers. The Ariel toucan is also brightly coloured. Their bright colouring helps toucans recognise each other in the jungle. Toucans are social birds, flying and eating in large groups. Toucans are also very playful and are known as the clowns of the forest. Toucans don't sing, they make an unusual barking sound. The Quetzal is so unusual that European naturalists refuse to believe in its existence for almost 200 years. Today, it's the national symbol of Guatemala, its home. Guatemalan money is even called the Quetzal. It lives in the high altitude rainforests of Guatemala, forests that are covered in clouds. Quetzals are very rare and hardly ever seen. They are highly endangered and may soon become extinct. Macaws live in the forests and jungles of South America, and like the toucan family, they are very colourful and noisy. In fact, they are amongst the noisiest birds in South America. Macaws are members of the parrot family. Because their rainforest homes are being cut down, the macaws are endangered. If the jungles of South America continue to be destroyed at the current rate, in 50 to 100 years, they won't exist at all. These birds do have unusual faces, but the secret animal isn't as colourful. What about the rhea? It's one of the largest birds in the world. It can't fly, but it can run very fast. If threatened, rheas can become very aggressive. Male rheas who look after their chicks have even been known to chase low-flying aeroplanes. The Seriema also lives in South America. It can fly, but it rarely does so. The 
Seriamer's call sounds like a yelping puppy. Seriamer eggs are incubated by both parents. They sit on them to keep them at a constant temperature until the eggs hatch. The Seriamer is a good runner. It eats snakes, which it catches in the long grass. Even though the snake's venom could kill it. Do you know of any other animals with unusual looking faces? I know a monkey that has a very unusual face. If the secret animal has an unusual looking face, it might be a monkey, like the black and white capuchin. They're called capuchins because their hair looks like the peaked hood of a capuchin monk. Black and white capuchins have highly skilled hands which they use to eat their food. Capuchins have hands like humans. Their thumbs can bend to touch their fingertips. The black and white capuchin is one of the most quick-witted primates. It'd take a clever animal to catch one. Capuchins communicate by calling to each other, as well as by touching, and by the expressions on their faces. has a smaller body than the black and white capuchin. But like their cousin, they live in the trees of the Amazon rainforest and only come down to the ground when they want to drink. as the capuchins. Maybe it has a prehensile tail. Animals with prehensile tails use them like hands. The tail supports them in the trees. Spider monkeys get their name because their prehensile tails are the most mobile of all. That's why spider monkeys are so agile when swinging through the forest. Monkeys eat fruit, but they don't like to eat in the close company of others. Spider monkeys have been hunted in the past by Indians, who shot them with poison arrows. But because the monkeys sit in trees, with their hands, tail and feet gripping the branches, they rarely fall down, even when they're killed. But the spider monkey isn't the secret animal. Kawati has an unusual face. They have long and highly sensitive noses which they use to find food. Kawatis eat fruit, birds, insects and even lizards. Kawatis have long teeth and can bite quite viciously. Koatis travel together in large groups and can be very noisy animals. Koatis can swim too. That's right. They use their long nose like a snorkel. Is the koati the secret animal? No. You'll have to keep on searching. The 
kinkajou is a nocturnal animal, hunting at night. Its large round eyes help it to see in the dark. The kinkajou is called the honey bear because it loves to eat honey. It also eats fruit as well as ants and termites, which it licks from nests with its long sticky tongue. The kinkajou spends all its life in the treetops. It climbs carefully across the branches. Kinkajous don't jump through the trees like monkeys. I think you should keep searching for animals with unusual looking faces. I know an animal with unusual eyes. If the secret animal has a very unusual looking face, it could be the spectacled bear. It has golden rings around its eyes. The spectacled bear lives in the Andes Mountains. It's a very good tree climber. It's the only bear found in South America and is very small compared to others in the bear family, growing to a height of only about a metre. Magellanic penguins live on the cold southern tip of South America and they're excellent swimmers. They live in large colonies, sometimes as large as a million penguins. The secret animal doesn't live in a cold climate like the penguin. How often does the secret animal swim? Not very often, and it doesn't have to either. Not like the penguins, who swim long distances each day to catch their food from the sea. The capybara is also a good swimmer. They have webbed feet and can stay underwater for up to five minutes. Capybaras are the largest rodents in the world and were once called water pigs. If one of the capybara group is attacked, it will call to the others and they'll all rush into the water and form a tight circle. The capybara's alarm call sounds like a bark, while baby capybaras make a sound that's like a cat purring. Capybaras are quiet and intelligent animals and rarely fight. The secret animal also rarely fights, but it's not the capybara. Well, the capybara does have other relatives in South America. The agouti is a smaller relative of the capybara and is also a rodent that swims. Agoutis live in burrows. They are very secretive animals and are rarely seen. They eat fruit which falls from trees. When there's plenty of fruit, they'll often bury some to eat later, in case there is a shortage. Many other animals are related to the agouti and the capybara. Could the secret animal be one of them? No, the secret animal's not a rodent. If the secret animal swims, it might be the tapir. The Brazilian tapir is a land animal, but it will hide in rivers and lakes when frightened. 
The Brazilian tapir is related to the Malayan tapir, which lives in Southeast Asia. The tapir moves easily in the water, although it has an unusual swimming style that looks like it's walking. Although tapirs are mammals, they can stay underwater for several minutes. Tapirs have very sensitive noses. When they walk through the forest, they keep their noses close to the ground to pick up scents. Tapirs have been hunted for their skins, which are turned into leather, and they are now endangered. Are they found in trees? No. Well, here's your next clue. The secret animal is found living in trees. But if the secret animal lives in trees, how can it also swim? Sometimes it comes down from the trees. If the secret animal can swim and climb trees, it might be the jaguar. Jaguars are good swimmers and they can also climb well. Jaguars can be yellow with spots or black. They are powerful cats and stalk their prey from behind rocks and trees. Jaguars attack and eat capybaras and agoutis, as well as birds and fish, which they flip out of the water with their paws. Once the jaguar has killed its prey, it drags it to a safe place so that it can eat without being disturbed. Jaguars can drag very heavy animals across long distances. They are also the only big cat in South America that roars. In ancient times, jaguars were worshipped as gods. The word jaguar is a South American Indian word which means killer that takes its prey in a single leap. The secret animal spends more time in trees than the jaguar. I know some other South American cats that live in trees. The ocelot lives mostly in trees. Although it has a reputation for killing farm animals, it is a very shy animal and never attacks people. Ocelots even run away from dogs. Ocelots are another endangered animal. They have been hunted for their beautiful coats. The margay also lives in trees. The margay is hunted for its coat too. Margays are very small cats, not much bigger than domestic cats. They are nocturnal and have large eyes which help them hunt at night. When they are happy or content, these cats purr. The secret animal doesn't make a sound like that. The red howler monkey makes such a loud roar that it can be heard well over a kilometre away. Red howler monkeys live in trees and very rarely come down to the ground. When they do, they are awkward and can't move about as easily as they do in the treetops. Red 
howler monkeys also have prehensile tails. Their tails are so strong, red howler monkeys can hang by them. Red howler monkeys have small brains and are not as intelligent as other monkeys. They also have difficulty digesting certain foods and they have to carefully choose the leaves and flowers they eat. secret animal can move without making a sound. If the secret animal can move without making a sound, it might be the squirrel monkey. If threatened, the squirrel monkey can move very quietly through the forest in groups. Squirrel monkeys can make more than 25 different calls. They call to warn of danger, to find a mate and to recognise each other. They also seem to sneeze. That's to help keep their body temperature stable. Compared to the rest of its body, the squirrel monkey has the largest brain in the primate family, even larger than a human's. The golden lion tamarind lives in tropical rainforests at the very top of the trees. Golden lion tamarinds can easily move through the forest. They have partially webbed hands for gripping the tree branches. The name golden lion tamarind comes from their large manes, which look like the mane of a lion. The golden lion tamarind does look very unusual, but it's not the secret animal. There are many other tamarinds in South America. Perhaps one of them is a secret animal. The white-lipped tamarind also lives in the rainforest. Tamarinds can't cross rivers. They usually stay in one small area, relying on the forest roof for all their food. That's one of the reasons why so many different types of tamarinds have evolved in South America. The emperor tamarind belongs to the group of tamarinds that all have a moustache. The emperor tamarind is named after Emperor Wilhelm of Germany, who also had an impressive moustache. This is the cotton-eared tamarind. It's generally thought that these primates were called tamarind because people believe they ate the tamarind fruit. This animal looks like a tamarind, it's really a silvery marmoset. Like tamarinds, marmosets are small primates and live in the forest canopy, jumping from tree to tree looking for food. The name marmoset comes from France. In the 18th century, both marmosets and tamarinds were popular with the aristocratic classes as pets. marmoset is the smallest of all the monkeys. When a baby is born, it is only a few centimetres long.
because they're so small and like their relatives move so quickly in the jungle, pygmy marmosets are very hard to see in the wild. When they're frightened, they can hide easily in the trees. isn't a tamarin or a marmoset, but if I were you, I'd keep searching in the rainforests. There are many unusual looking animals you haven't found yet. The secret animal is much larger than the tamarins and marmosets, and it has a thick coat of hair. searched through some of South America's animals and you still haven't found the secret animal. Well, it has an unusual looking face, it swims but not very often. And don't forget, the secret animal has a thick coat of hair. monkey has a very thick coat of hair. Some of the woolly monkey's facial expressions seem almost human. Woolly monkeys are friendly and gentle and they rarely fight. monkeys live in the trees of the Amazon forest and hardly ever come down to the ground. They have prehensile tails which they use to hang from tree branches. Woolly monkeys live in family groups. During the day, the adults often rest while the children play around them. But the woolly monkey isn't the secret animal. I know some other South American animals that have a thick coat of hair. The Saki is one of the hairiest primates. They also have long bushy tails. The Saki is really quite a thin monkey, but its thick coat of hair makes it look a lot bigger. Saki monkeys are found in dense rainforest, always living close to water. Sakis climb well and can leap great distances from tree to tree. They are very affectionate animals and are often caught and kept as pets in South America. So is the secret animal. So it's domesticated? Possibly. The llama is a domestic animal and is used as a pack animal by the South American Indians. The llama has such a thick coat of hair that its fleece is woven into wool. When they were first seen by the Spanish, llamas were mistaken for sheep because they live in flocks, but they are in fact related to camels. 
During the days of the Inca civilization, llamas were thought of as sun gods and were considered sacred. Why? Because they always seemed to be facing the sun when it rose in the morning and were believed to make sad sounds together when it went down at night. Although llamas are gentle animals, they'll spit when they're angry. The Juanaco is related to the llama and is another hairy animal used as a source of wool. When the Spanish first arrived in South America, there were tens of millions of Juanaco. Now there are only a few hundred thousand left. other animals in South America that belong to the same family? The alpaca belongs to the same family. Like the llama, it's found in the Andes Mountains where it's used as a pack animal for carrying goods. The alpaca is shorn for its wool once a year. Domesticated. You said it was. I said it was sometimes kept as a pet. Here's another clue. The secret animal has a body temperature that changes. Then it could be cold-blooded, like a reptile. If the secret animal is a reptile, it might be the caiman. It's a crocodile. Being a reptile, the caiman's body temperature changes according to the weather. Caimans live in slow-moving rivers in South America. They have rough, horny plates covering their bodies. Caimans are good swimmers, and because they have nostrils at the top of their snouts, they can lie underwater, waiting for their prey. They don't actually bite their prey to death. They grab hold of it and, thrashing about, drown it. Caimans, like all other crocodiles, have pieces of skin that cover and protect their eyes, just like our eyelids. As well as being able to swim, caimans can run on land. They have been hunted in the past, and now they're rare. The secret animal can also swim, but it's not the caiman. What about the piranha? The piranha has a reputation for being the most ferocious fish in the world. Piranha have razor-sharp teeth and if they're hungry, they can reduce an animal to bones within a few minutes. The word piranha actually means scissors in the Tupi Indian language. Whilst piranha are feared by people, they are in fact caught and eaten by the Indians themselves. I know a fish that's very dangerous to eat. If moray eels are eaten, they can cause a fatal type of food poisoning. Moray eels are found lurking in crevices between rocks and coral in the sea. They are unpredictable and can be very aggressive. If alarmed, they will dart out and attack, biting strongly with their sharp teeth. Moray eels can grow very long, sometimes up to three metres. Perhaps the strangest fish in South America is the four-eyed fish. 
It really does have four eyes. It can lie on the surface of the water with two of its eyes looking down and with the other two keeping a lookout above. The four-eyed fish is unusual, but don't forget, the secret animal swims, but not very often. What about the marine toad? Marine toads can't move very quickly, so they have developed a way of defending themselves that's very effective. They have a sack of poison behind their eyes, and their skin is also poisonous. If an animal bites a toad, it'll be sorry. While other toads lay eggs once a year, the marine toad breeds all year round. It can lay up to 20,000 eggs at a time. The poison arrow frog also has a poisonous skin. The poison from these frogs is used by Indians on the tips of their arrows. Just one poison arrow frog has enough poison for 40 arrows, and each arrow can kill a person. The Indians have a very careful way of extracting the poison from the frogs. They kill the frogs with a thin stick, then they heat them over a fire and catch the droplets. The Argentinian horned frog also has a body temperature that changes. Frogs have long webbed toes and they depend on water for their survival. Frogs eat insects which they catch with their long sticky tongues. You're getting closer. Do you know of any other animals with body temperatures that change? If the secret animal has a body temperature that changes, it might be the Brazilian cockroach. The cockroach is an insect and its body temperature changes according to the weather. The cockroach is an omnivore, which means it will eat just about anything it can scavenge. cockroach itself is also eaten. They're considered very tasty by frogs, toads, lizards, snakes and birds. But they are hard to catch because they are very sensitive to vibrations and air movements. The Brazilian cockroach's flat body allows it to crawl into small crevices. Brazilian cockroaches like to live in warm, humid environments. But I think I should tell you, the secret animal is much bigger than a cockroach. The Galapagos tortoise is one of the largest tortoises in the world. They live on the Galapagos Islands off the coast of South America. Galapagos tortoises live longer than any other animal on Earth, up to 150 years. They are mainly land animals, but often wallow in mud pools. There were once so many tortoises crowded onto the Galapagos Islands, that it was said you couldn't see the ground. But they were hunted by whalers in the last century and are now endangered. Is this the secret animal? No, the secret animal doesn't live on an island and it doesn't have a shell.
perhaps the secret animal is the green iguana. It can not only climb, it can swim well too. If the green iguana is disturbed, it will dive into the water and swim to the bottom. The green iguana can also run fast, but it spends most of its time basking in the sun. Like other reptiles, the iguana needs warmth to help maintain its body temperature. Iguanas are different to other reptiles in that when their teeth are worn out, they grow again. Male iguanas jealously guard their homes, and if another iguana appears, they will put on a display of intimidation by bobbing their heads up and down. Iguanas also use their strong tails as weapons if threatened. The secret animal has an entirely different way of defending itself. The boa constrictor defends itself by wrapping itself around an attacker. It squeezes with its muscular body so that the animal is unable to breathe and dies of suffocation. The boa constrictor also kills its prey this way. Boa constrictors eat birds, lizards, squirrels and even ocelots and pigs. Most reptiles lay eggs. The boa constrictor gives birth to live babies. Like the secret animal, the boa constrictor is a good climber. But the secret animal isn't a snake. Don't forget, the secret animal is hairy. If the secret animal is hairy, it might be a spider. The Chilean tarantula is a poisonous spider. It hunts at night and can kill animals much larger than itself, including mice and even lizards. Most spiders, including the tarantula, have eight eyes, but they see best out of the two at the front. The tarantula sinks its fangs into its prey, injecting a venom which paralyzes the animal. The Chilean tarantula lives in hollow logs and trees. This is a very unusual animal. Is it the secret animal? No, but the Chilean tarantula is an excellent guess. You're getting closer too. The secret animal also lives in trees, remember? The harpy eagle lives in the trees. It also has a very unusual looking face. The harpy eagle is a huge bird of prey. It lives in the tropical rainforests and can fly through the dense jungle at amazing speeds of up to 80 kilometres an hour, grabbing monkeys from their branches. The harpy eagle also eats porcupines, coatis and macaws. The harpy eagle builds a huge nest at the top of the jungle canopy. It's made of large sticks and carefully lined with leaves. The harpy eagle has thick legs and long, strong talons to help it grab its prey out of the trees.
The Audubon Caracara falcon is also a bird of prey. It eats all sorts of food, from insects to mammals. But the Caracara falcon doesn't usually live in the trees. It spends most of its time on the ground. The Caracara falcon prefers to run rather than fly. What about the Andean condor? It's a very unusual looking bird because it doesn't have any feathers on its face. The Andean condor is one of the largest flying birds in the world with a wingspan of over three meters. They are excellent flyers and glide high above the Andes mountains. I should tell you, the secret animal isn't a bird. What else can you tell me? Well, the South American Indians always made fun of the secret animal because it has such a funny looking face. That's easy. I know what it is. This has to be the secret animal, the red wakari. It was called the English monkey by the Indians because its bright red face reminded them of an Englishman who had drunk too much gin. The red wakari has a thick shaggy coat of hair. It also has a bald head, which makes it look like a man. Because the wakari's face is so red, people often think it must be sick. In fact, when the wakari gets sick, its face turns a paler colour. Wakaris are very good climbers and can walk like people, swinging their arms for balance. The wakari must be the secret animal. It's not. The secret animal belongs to the Edentate family. What does Edentate mean? Animals in the Edentate family usually don't have any teeth. I know a funny looking animal that doesn't have any teeth. If the secret animal belongs to a family that doesn't have any teeth, it might be the anteater. They use their long sticky tongues to scoop ants from their nests. They mash up the ants inside their mouths. Anteaters have a low body temperature. Anteaters walk on their knuckles to protect their claws, which they use to break open ant nests. If the anteater is threatened, it will rear up on its hind legs and lash out with its powerful claws. So powerful they can kill a person. isn't the secret animal. Why not? Because the secret animal has teeth. But if it belongs to the Edentate family, it doesn't have teeth. Well, the secret animal is one member of the family that does. What about the armadillo? It also eats ants, but it has teeth. Is it a member of the Edentate family? Yes, it is. Armadillos dig up ant nests with their powerful claws. They can eat up to 40,000 ants in one meal. They can also tunnel deep underground to look for food. Armadillos have strong outer skin made of bony plates. If attacked, the armadillo can roll itself up into a ball, protecting the soft parts of its body.
the armadillo spends the colder parts of the day in its burrow because it has a body temperature that changes. The armadillo must be the secret animal. It's not. Give me one more clue. All right. The secret animal has a reputation for being the laziest animal in the world. I know an animal that people think is the laziest in the world. Is this a secret animal? Yes, it's the sloth. But the sloth isn't really lazy. It's just the slowest mammal in the world. It sleeps for 20 hours a day. Sloths have funny round faces, which is why they've been made fun of by the Indians over the years. There are two kinds of sloth, the two-toed and the three-toed. The sloth is a member of the edentate family and is related to the armadillo and the anteater. The sloth spends most of its life hanging upside down from the branch of a tree. Its grip is so strong that even after it dies, it still hangs in the same place. have a body temperature that changes. They need to sit in the sun whenever possible. They climb to the top of the forest canopy and stretch out in the sun. This keeps the sloths warm, but they become very vulnerable to predators overhead, like harpy eagles, which swoop down and take them. Sloths are generally helpless, but have powerful claws and will lash out if attacked. The sloth has a long coat of hair that grows in different directions from the middle of its belly so when it rains, they don't have to take shelter. The water just runs off them. Sloths eat leaves, shoots and fruit, and their food can take up to a month to be digested. swimmer, but it's very awkward on the ground. The sloth is South America's most secret animal, 